what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? As unexpected, Jordan Peele won Best Original Screenplay at the Oscars last night for his movie, Get Out. Get Out, if you haven't seen it, is a horror story about a black photographer who meets his white girlfriend's parents and discovers an eerie plot. You got to check it out, man. It's one of the best movies out there. First time I saw it, I was watching it on a bootleg copy. Didn't do it any justice. I was like, I'm not going to watch this whole thing. I just watched the very first part of it. And... I was like, man, it's taken away from the experience. So the next time I watched it was with Dave Chappelle and a few other people. And Dave actually narrated the whole movie. He was cracking jokes in between the scenes and stuff. He had a microphone. It was a trip. But yeah, that was some good times. But I thought the movie was very well written. It was definitely outside of the box. And what's crazy is that Jordan said that he had some reservations about actually finishing the movie. He said he stopped about 20 times before he uh, barreled on through and got it done. And I think he said he filmed it in like 23 days on a $4 million budget. So, I mean, he stretched it. And he got through it, man. He persevered. And to me, I, I heard a story that I heard a story. Where, and this is what I try to do. Like when I do these videos, I'm not just repeating things just for the sake of putting something out there just because everybody's talking about it. I, I got to see an angle. I got to see something like a learning opportunity, like some type of growth opportunity. And for me, that growth opportunity was him, list, him like talking about his trials and tribulations, his, um, his reservations that he had, his self-doubt that he had for making the film. And I know a lot of us, we, we doubt ourselves sometimes. I don't care how good you are at doing what you do. Sometimes we doubt ourselves. And some of you right now, I'll say some of us, we have a major goal that we want to accomplish. We want to accomplish and, and some of us have started on that goal but we haven't finished maybe it's a book you're trying to finish maybe it's a film maybe it's some poetry whatever it is you know maybe it's building uh, a, sh a shack in the back of your house or whatever a two house whatever it is but some of us have these these goals that we want to accomplish and we ain't quite got there because we allow self-doubt to creep in. Sometimes that self-doubt is accompanied with the idea that that task is going to be daunting. And you be like, man, and the more you think about it, the more you talk yourself out of it. So the best thing to do is to just smash the gas. When you get that idea and you say, man, I want to do this, man. I, I got to do it. You know, I, I got to do it. Just smash the gas on it and get it done. Because for me, one of the things that I live by is I feel like when I'm gone or when I'm, put it like this, when I'm on my deathbed, if I have any regrets, I want it to be for the things that I did. Not for the things that I wanted to do, but was too afraid to do. I don't want to be that dude. So if I think I, I can do it and I really want to do it, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to go for it. And I ain't worried about what nobody thinks. Anybody that would have a problem with it or speak negatively about it, they're probably the kind of person who haven't pursued their own dreams. And it scares them a little bit that you just may accomplish your own. But what a debut. First directorial a movie first film that he ever wrote and he wins an Oscar 
He should have won for best pitcher also. Well-deserved, uh, remarkable script, remarkable script. I, I'm, I'm trying to see, like, like how, what is he going to do to top this? What can he do to top this one? I suspect that he's going to do something, though, because dude is very talented. So I can't wait to see what he does next. Salute. Jordan, you did that, homie. I, in fact, before I go, I thought really that they was going to try to squeeze him all the way out. I thought that they was going to like try to like give him a donut because they really didn't want to recognize the movie. And I heard that some of the uh, Academy members Many of the voting Academy members didn't even watch the movie. But they were judging the movie. Where they do that at? No more top. What the ladies talking about?